yes, we've made it, yes! Another monster on stage, am I right? Hell yeah, dude. Look at these, they didn't know they were gonna have such competition. Um, nope, nobody, it is good to be here. Yeah, all right, I, uh, thrilled to be out of the house. Real quick, where are my boys at? Who here loves pussy? Hell yeah, dude, hell yeah, where are my boys at? Gals, no sir, yeah, hell yeah! There's my boy, hell yeah, no, I am gay, I am. <laughs> Gay as a box of cocks, dude. Shoving dicks in my mouth like breadsticks at Olive Garden. And it is a concern. A lot of Alfredo sauce on those breadsticks. Who's with me? Thank you. Alfredo was the name of the waiter. Now, I am <laughs> so thrilled to be here. Honk! All right, please laugh. Have a bit of a nervous honk. I um, It is good to be here getting out of the house. Uh, I am six foot five, pretty much at this point, just a big gay lighthouse, really. Uh, chartreuse goose. Uh, bit of a beacon of homosexuality, you know? I feel like I walk into a room, there should just be a casual mist blowing across the floor and the faint sounds of a foghorn in the background just going, yas, queen, you know? Just seagulls going, cock, anybody? All right. Semen everywhere. I am um, foghorn, more like a faghorn. All right, I can say it. We were thinking it. Yeah, I love a cord. I always said that. Anyway, good to be here. Monster. Speaking of monsters, I do have a huge hog. I um, truly kind of back breaking big dick. I uh, no king of hog mountain, but I um, no, I can't wear Magnum condoms anymore, only 64-gallon trash bags, and it is a concern. Hefty, hefty six sacks. But anyway, I am so thrilled to be here. It's good. I'm getting out there, having a fun time, trying to super soak these bros, you know? Just get them good and hosed down. You love a wet bro, you know? No, I am. I'm getting out there, soft cocking all over town, uh, just exploring different Chipotles, and... Um, Thank you. No, I love a Chipotle. I always trying to find my home Chipotle. But anyway, no, it's true. I'm trying to lose weight, trying not to be the creature from the Fat Lagoon and um, just the president of the Jesus Christ of Fatter Gay Saints. But I, um, I am. No, I'm, I'm going to the gym. Well, I went by the gym the other day on my way to Chipotle. And um, I am. I'm trying to lose weight. No, this is true. I'm on roids. Um, thank you. Hemorrhoids. And I... Truly, things aren't good. I can't sit down. I uh, actually have to do stand-up, so it is kind of doctor prescribed at this point. So anyway, it is good to be here. Love this. Always said that. I, uh, somebody just give me a little taggy tap. You know, the whole, the whole building collapses. Anyway, honk! All right, that was a honk back. I am here. I'm queer. I've had a rough few years. Um, no, I don't want to brag. I've had COVID 87 times and things are going pretty good. No, it's true. I'm doing good. I'm getting out there. I'm eating at Whole Foods. I, uh, I love Whole Foods. I love eating whole, you know. I uh, can't get enough of that fresh whole. And the other day I went down to Whole Foods. I was going to go to town on some whole and I was, um, I was at the salad bar. I love Whole Foods because you can slop up a box full of shit and then pay by the pound, you know? You can just slop up a slop trough full of slop and then pay by the pound. And I was at the salad bar slopping up, uh, staring at some hot dads with my mouth open. And truly, these dads hotter than the hot bar. But anyway, no. So I'm going to slop town. Over slop my box too good. It was four and a half pounds, you know? And I'll be honest, you know, I'm a pretty broke comedian. It's not my income that makes the men come, but I, um... <laughs> Thank you. No, and that box is four and a half pounds. I'm like, we're gonna have to eat some of this before we get to the cash register, you know? Just shave off a few dollars. So at some point, I'm just having a stroll, eating the whole, and, um... Really exploring the restaurant slash grocery store, and... I was in the Malbec section, and on the King of Slop Hill, just the top of my slop box, I had this beautiful hard-boiled egg, and I love a hard bee, I've always said that. And anyway, those are very dense, right? I was like, we're gonna have to eat this hard bee. So I was lifting it to my mouth in the Malbec section when I saw a security guard staring directly at me. I know, total meat cue to my right, gals, but um, I think we have a future, but I was like, 
oh God, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I gotta get rid of this egg, you know? I was like, so I turned my back and I was like, all right, I don't know why. I was like, we gotta get rid of the egg. So I threw the egg in my mouth and tried to swallow it in one fell swoop. And here's the thing, I immediately started choking on a hard boiled egg. I was eating illegally at the Hollywood's Whole Foods and not like a, oh no, get me some water. This was like a, you know, and nobody would help me in Hollywood if you can believe it. And I was like, is this a metaphor for life? I'm choking to death in Hollywood, but I am. Um, Anyway, I truly didn't know what I was gonna do. The security guard, he just left. Uh, I think he quit. I think he was like, I'm tired of these gay ostriches coming in here eating my eggs in one fell swoop. Uh, you can't fire me, I quit, he screamed. And anyway, I was like, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Truly thought I was gonna die. I found an empty wall, not like a can of monsters, but just like a stack of monsters, but an empty wall. And I started hurling myself up against a wall to self Heimlich an egg I was eating illegally at the Hollywood's Whole Foods. And it took me about 10 thrusts upon the wall, you know, he thrust and he thrust and I thrust myself upon the wall. I don't know why I go English, it just feels right. But anyway, I thrust myself on the wall. I did get the egg up. Uh, it came up fully intact, uh, a whole food, if you will. And, um, <laughs> You know, then you're just holding a hard-boiled egg covered in your own drool, and you're like, how do I get here, you know? How do I end up here? I'm from Texas originally. I'm a sweet gay boy from a small town in Texas. And that's not what I called myself. That's what my high school football coach called me. But um, anyway, people are like, what brought you to L.A.? And I'm like, you know, I just saw a dildo on the end of a string, and um, every time I reached for it, someone pulled it a few feet to the west. And... Uh, that's how old Herbert Hugecock up here made it over the Continental Divide. So follow your dreams, kids. I know I did. Anyway, so I'm in the Hollywood's Whole Foods covered in, uh, holding an egg covered in my own drool. And it's like, well, what do you do with the egg now, right? I think we'll all agree. There's no chance I'm paying for this at this point, you know? <laughs> I will not fund this instrument of death from my own purse strings, you know? But then it's like, well, do you try to eat it again? You know? It's like, fool me once, shame on me, you know? Fool me twice. But anyway, I didn't know what to do with it, and boy, did I have egg on my face, but I, um, not really. But I didn't know what to do with it. I just left it at the bar. Uh, raw dog, did I just set it on there? It's like a fun, you know, Easter egg hunt for somebody. We gotta figure out a better ending for that joke, but. In the meantime, I just want y'all to remember that that's there. And, um, yeah! All right. I haven't gotten the light yet, but I will get out of here in two squirts of a man's penis. I, um, no, nope, that's too gross. Just three or four big old squirt squirts from a man's hog. Anyway, if you don't laugh, I have to keep doing it. Um, just four or five big old ropes from a man's dong. Um, no, I did. Uh, I'm from Texas originally. I'm from this like little town, and it's the kind of place people say things like, "How could climate change be real if my steak's undercooked?" You know, it's like those kind of. It's like, uh, and I am. This is true. I'm from a big ranching family. You know, like people that put ranch dressing on everything, and um, I love going home and doing ranch work with my dad. But I. Um, Anyway, no, this is true. I grew up just a beautiful gay porcelain gay prince, and uh, that's what the mayor called me. But um, anyway, one of the worst things that happened to me as a gay boy in a small town in Texas was when I was 18 years old, my father uh, found gay porn on my computer. It was horrible. I had just gotten off work at Chicken Express, uh, North Texas premier fried chicken restaurant, Chicken Express. And um, I did work at the like first one original flagship restaurant, and uh, when you're around that much power at a young age, you know it really affects you. So, anyway, try to stay humble. But um, truly, I just got off work at Chicken Express, and you do have to say it like you have GERD. I'm not sure why. It's like kind of a chicken, ah, ch ah, chicken. Anyway, so I just got off work at Chicken Express, and I walked into my bedroom, right? And my father, Papa, he was sitting at my computer and he pulled up a picture and this was in the days of dial-up internet, right? So there's just a slowly loading picture of a fully naked fireman on my computer and it's loading bottom up, pun intended, and um, 
<laughs> it's loading feet first, and I was like, maybe this isn't that bad, you know? But then the picture kept going, and I'm like, well, uh-oh. Uh, that is a rock hard erection, and it looks like his friend is holding it, you know? With his mouth, so a bit of a pickle, pun intended, and I didn't know what to do. Obviously, I see something like that, very hard moment for me, but also very difficult moment, and <laughs> I kind of walked into my bedroom and ironically turned into my closet, and, and by the way, you'd have thought my conservative dad, my conservative southern father, you'd have thought he just found out that his favorite salsa was made in New York City, right? I walk in, he just goes, MK, what, what? The picture was still loading. Why is there gay porn on your computer? He said, and I knew it was gonna be a tough moment. And I looked at my dad square in the eyes. And I said, dad, we're gonna have to talk about this, you know, but I'm gonna be brave and I'd like you to be brave and let's just see if we can get through it together, right? So I looked at my dad square in the eyes and I said, dad, um, I am almost certain that grandma has been coming in here during the <laughs> afternoons <laughs> and using this specific computer. And that's the story of how grandma got sent to the nursing home. So <laughs> prayers welcome for her. Guys, I've been MK Paulson. Thank you so much. You're watching Jam Comedy. You couldn't keep it heady without your support. So make sure to hit that like button, share this video with your friends, subscribe, and hit the bell to change your preferences to notify all. Join us for a show via the link in the description, and thanks for supporting live comedy.